Hey guys, your boy Virtus here and welcome back to the Unreal Engine 4 survival horror game series. Today, we are going to be taking our little level a little bit step a little step further and we are going to be adding the water into our lake. In addition to that, I'm also going to try and, you know, change the shed to make it look a bit more like a shed, like a shed, I guess. So we're going to be adding some materials to the BSP. We're going to be adding the door and we're going to get the player walking in and out of it. Once we've done that, we can also start to hide things in there like logs, um, you know, the pickup item or we can put a key in there that kind of stuff but the main focus for today is essentially just going to be getting some water in the big lake and adjusting some of the settings and stuff just to make it the way that we want it to so one thing i do want to mention before we do go any further is that you know we're not going to be creating the water material itself there is a really really good water uh, water demo in uh, the learning tab in the in the launcher that you can download and we can just essentially add that to the project and use that and I'm pretty much going to be showing you how to use that how to add it to your project and uh, get started with it so the first thing that I want you guys to do is go ahead and download the water planes demo if you want to access that just go to the land tab in the launcher where I am now scroll all the way down and just find this little water planes demo click it download it once you've done that you know you can add it to the project and go from there so if there's just a download button there you can also add it to the project from here I've already done it so I'm just gonna go ahead and get started so the way we're actually gonna use this water is pretty simple so the first thing we need to do is actually find the water plane folder in the content browser and once we've done that we can go ahead and find the blueprint so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to water planes translucent blueprint and then all I've got to do is click it and then I just drag it into the scene and from there you can see we've got a little bit of water so we do need to make a few adjustments to that for example we need to lift it up a little bit and to be honest at the moment it does look a little bit too blue for how I want it so we are going to adjust some of the color settings we are going to adjust the translucency and a few other little bits and bobs also later on or what I want you guys to do um, after that we put the water in there, it's pretty much just paint the terrain around it because at the moment, you know, there's a few issues with the painting, you know, you've, you've got the water going over the grass and a few other bits. So just, you know, just repaint it after you place the water in. But for now, we've got the water in. If you wanted to, you can adjust the size, just use the transformation tools and go from there. But for now, this is looking pretty solid for now. And there is one other change that I wanted to make to this water, and that is the translucency. So let's go ahead and change that. So I'm going to make sure I'm in my lip mode, just so I can see the water nice and clear. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to scroll down and I'm going to find translucency. So all the way down, it should be in here somewhere. Base opacity. So opacity is pretty much, you know, how well you can see it so if you were to turn that down you know you'd be able to see the water a bit through the water a bit more you know you can see the ground you can see the rocks you can see the dirt through it and that kind of stuff so for what i want you guys to do is just play around with the space opacity and sort of find a level that works really well for you now this water demo you can do loads and loads of stuff with it you can also play around with the colors as well using the water color and the secondary water color and that will make it nice you can make it green you can make it red you can do whatever you like for it but now we pretty much have our water in our scene and it's looking quite nice there so once we actually start sculpting it properly and everything it will come out a lot lot better uh, but for now we've got our water so i'm going to leave that you know pretty much how it is now and yes i'm just gonna leave that how it is because the water's looking good for now if you wanted to you can change the wave speed you can change the wave si uh, size now because this is only a little lake you know the waves are gonna have to be small and it's you know pretty much exactly how i want it to so if you wanted to you can change the wave speed you can change the water scale and that kind of stuff but for now let's move on from the water that was pretty simple play around with it do what you want to do and yeah so the next thing that I'm gonna do here is if you remember a couple of episodes ago we actually made this little shed thing where we're gonna be keeping the key and a few other bits and if you have the level plan we also have it in there if you want to look at it so what I'm gonna be doing today is pretty much just adding a roof onto here and also um, adding some materials onto that because at the moment it's just basic BSP and it doesn't look too great so I'm going to start off by going into the starter content in our content browser and I'm going to go into my materials and I'm going to find a nice wood material to put on there. Now putting materials onto BSP is incredibly simple. All you got to do is select it in the content browser and drag it on just like that. And it is coming out quite nice. I'm going to do the same thing on all of the sides. 
Uh, just make sure you get it on every single face, even the side ones here. If you wanted to, you can also play around with the tiling to make it more natural. If you want the, you know, the material to be stretched out a little bit more, you can do that. All you've got to do is just pretty much in the details tab with the face selected, scroll down and just change the scale. So if you wanted to change that to 2, it's going to make it a little bit bigger and it's going to make it a bit more natural. So don't forget you're going to have to do that on all sides of these. I'm not going to do it for now, but you guys know how to do it now. So just make sure you do it ready for the next video. Sorry, so I'm just going to keep on adding on all this wood, all four sides. And I'm also going to use the lip mode, unlip mode for this because it's going to make it a little bit easier to add it on here because we can actually see things, you know, through, through the darkness pretty much. So I'm just going to make sure I've got it on all the sides here. Almost done. There you are. That is looking good. Almost there, and now we've also got to do the inside, but one thing that I do need to do for this little shed is we need to add the roof. So I'm pretty much going to select one of these little pieces of geometry, and then I'm going to just copy and paste it. Just right click, copy and paste, or control C, control V, do whatever you want to do, do it your own way. Uh, but I'm going to add this roof on, rotate it, and just chuck it up here, just like this. Okay, and obviously we're gonna have to make some changes to the scale and everything to make it fit. So we may have to do that. Uh, there we go, chuck it down. And I'm gonna go into the geometry editing mode for this just to make it easier so I can select a face and pull it out nice and simple. Just like that, and I'm gonna have to do the same on this one just to make that match up. So let's see where we are. That is looking good. That is good. Okay, cool. So the next thing that we're gonna that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a subtractive um, BSP brush, and the reason why I'm gonna make it subtractive is so I can pretty much just cut out the door. So I'm gonna bring the brush in just over here. So place geometry and then box, and I'm gonna change this to subtractive. And now wherever this box is, it's gonna cut away any geometry that we've got there. I'm gonna place this down on the little down on the ground a little bit just so it doesn't sort of clip. Uh, so it doesn't leave anything on the floor, any wood like that. And then once again, we're going to use the geometry editing mode to make this look real nice. So we're just going to drag up the door frame to make it a little bit taller. And that is looking good. So I'm going to go ahead and press play now, just so we can actually get a good idea of how the height is working. See if we can actually walk in the shed. Uh, we can, and that is perfectly fine. So all we got to do now for our little shed here is pretty much just apply the materials to everything else on the inside. Um, one, now that we've got the shed done, we've got our environment looking quite nice for now. We are actually going to start to work on some of the gameplay mechanics, putting things like keys in here, opening doors, and that kind of cool stuff. We've only really got one more section in terms of environmental stuff for this level, and that's going to be the lighting. And I might also do post-processing, depending on, you know, how I'm feeling. I do have some Unreal Engine 4 post-processing tutorials out there already, so, you know, we may not need to dedicate it. I can just, like, get you guys to look at it and go from there but anyway for now that is pretty much everything that I wanted to go over in this tutorial we now have some really nice looking water in there make sure that you paint the terrain and everything to make it match with the water so you don't have it overlapping the grass like I have there that's the homework for you guys but that is everything so thanks for watching comment like and subscribe and don't forget I want you guys to make sure you share the channel make sure you share the patreon page and just you know help us build the community i guess so thanks for watching and i will see you next time goodbye